ought to help. <laughs> you know, there are people that actually have insomnia, so I wonder, do they know about this show? Because I'm here as a public service. Uh, this is episode three, Moments with the Booby Hatch. Uh, I'm Timothy Simpson, author and artist of the Booby Hatch comics. It's legitimate. Um, I mentioned last episode about playing the bike pump, ask for a request for songs. And so that's what I decided to do. Now, I'm going to play a little bit here. It takes a while to get it going. I um, was going to wear those bike pump pants, but I didn't want to change the ratings. Nay, you know, I'm kidding. Um, let me show you the bike pump here. It's, uh, can you see that? Okay, yeah, it's an alto. It's also an upright, as you can, yeah, and it's a huffy. As far as instruments go, it's in the category of blunt. Yeah. And a lot of people ask, is it pricey? Yeah, it is. Why? Inflation. The um, most songs when I play them, they're in B flat. And then by the time I'm done, they're fixed. Yeah. Why? People ask, why do you play the bike pump? There are many, many instruments to choose from. Why the bike pump? Well, because I was born to boogie, my friends. Mm-hmm. I actually have a CD out of Bike Pump songs. It went straight to Skeet, so look for that. If you do get lucky to find one, perhaps in a hunting store, um, it's best played on electric can opener. So have that. And by the way, as you watch this talent, never had a lesson. That's right. So I'm going to play a few songs. Turn up the volume or down. Your choice, your preference. The first song is going to be Pump by Van Halen. You may know it as Jump. Mm. Uh, then there's Bicycle Built for Two. Then I'm going to do Sugar Pump Fairy. And then I'll end with Heart Out Here for a Pump. Eh, you know that one. Now, um, it takes a while to get it going, get it in tune. So be patient. I'll yell the song out to help you know which one it is. All right, so hold on. Let me see if I can get it into position. There we go. Okay, are you, am I in, can, am I in voice? <laughs> Let me tune it up a little bit. <laughs> I think I got, it. okay, first one we're gonna try is pump or jump. What? Okay, also bicycle built for two. Eh? And sugar plum fairy. Now this one's hard. Okay, and hard out here for a pimp. Hard out here for a pump. <laughs> yeah, and, and a bonus for you. Uh, 
pup and circumstance. Uh -uh. Huh? There we are. Ah. <laughs> Keep bringing those requests in. I mean, after all, great fun. Um, now, it, the tough part on that is getting those low notes. Yeah, it's a low C, and it's the difference between whether you say, excuse me, <laughs> or you hit the note, you know. And also, next time you hear a sound like that, ask Grandpa dude, to see his bike pump. Let's, let's go here. <laughs> um, I'm also available for uh, personal appearances. I'd be happy to attend any social or bodily functions, so please let me know if you want me to do the graduations. I probably gonna hit the notes a little better, you know, on, on short notice there. Um, oh, now, every time I do these shows, I keep forgetting, I wanted, I'll show you, I keep forgetting my big opener. <laughs> I right? I mean, there it is. I, I got this from, he's Captain Hobby, he's captain of the ships in a bottle. Yeah, got that, he's holding on. Actually, where well, really, I got it from, a, uh, it was a garage sale at Ed Scissorhands. He used to serve in the Swiss Army. <laughs> And this was one of the many attachments that he had. Might be a good opportunity at this moment to, once again, give you some protection. So here we go. We'll do the, hopefully we'll get that done. All right, there we are. Okay. Um, let me get my little sounds up and running for you. There. Mm-hmm. Um, I was good. I, I, I've been watching the news a little bit, and they're talking a lot about unemployment. And I'm kind of... Well, I'm proud about it. I, I'm an employee of the month. I saw my picture up. I was really excited about that. And also, um, I wanted to work out more because we've been, you know, quarantined, not a chance to get out. I was going to buy this easy workout video, but the cover said running time was 90 minutes. Oh, that's not easy. 90 minutes, run, make up your mind, get your label card. I don't... A um, little tidbit about me. Again, uh, there's a lot of careers I've had through the years and I used to work at Disneyland. Yeah, it all started when I saved a dwarf who was trapped inside an elevator shoe. Yeah, the, the joke goes, well, are you grumpy? Well, I'm not happy. Yeah, that one, you know, but I was able to help him out. Um, one day I was, I was working at Disneyland for real and I was walking to lunch and I got behind the, all the dwarves. They were on their way as well. And somebody looked over and says, oh look, Dopey and Snow White had a son. Huh? Yee. Uh, Disney actually is replacing some of the uh, dwarves. Did you know that? Yeah, Sleepy is going to be replaced by a new dwarf called Yanni. <laughs> yeah, the, the musician, not the sound. And Grumpy, I don't know if you know, he became a born-again Christian. Uh, yeah, he joined up with people, and he's now known as Giddy. Giddy. And they fixed Bashful. Yeah, he, they cured him. Apparently, he had to get over his low elf esteem. <laughs> yeah, because some of them need it. The death. Even that didn't help, but you, you do what you can. I used to work in the electric parade and then, um, I lost my job. They said I wasn't bright enough. What? What? And I, it's, it's embarrassing when you go in to be, you know, because they're going to fire you. You go in, you go, you're fired. <laughs> that hurts a little bit, you know? And the press was outside and they says, oh, you've just been fired at Disneyland. What are you going to do? I said, I'm going to Hooters. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. Today's um, show, I've decided to do thinkers. These are very smart, clever um, jokes, things that are very smart. And I'm going to try to use a different sound effect to help you out. Let's do this. These are thinkers. These are smart, smart jokes. Okay, here we go. And remember, I'm under a time crunch. So I apologize if I go too fast for some of these because these are thinkers. All right. I was... Um, I was gonna use some spot remover on a tie that I had and I spilled it on my shirt. Now what do I use? <laughs> and uh, you know that pumpkin spice? You've heard a lot about that, right? Now is that the tan plump one? Spice Girls? I met the Spice Girls mom. Yeah, Miss Dash, do you know her? <laughs> um, I don't know if, how or why. Again, these are smart jokes. How is it possible you can gain weight eating donut holes? If you buy foods at Whole Foods, how, I don't know how it gathers. What it's all, you know what I mean? Should be negative calories like celery. Um, oh, and by the way, so, well, not by the way, there's, a, well, I will tell you, there's a new pill for hypochondriacs. Yeah, it's just side effects. <laughs> it's, I'm editing while I'm talking to you because I got limited time. If you play Simon Says and they say, all right, 
Don't plagiarize. Don't copy. How do you... That's yeah, it's just tough. Um, here's one interesting. I added insult to injury and I got insecurity. Work some of these out on yourself. Yeah, I think you'll appreciate it. Um, I bought a book on feng shui. I'm going to get that later. Uh, anyway, I bought a book on feng shui. And you know, the table of contents was on the ninth page. Oh, that's, you see, that's a thinker. That's a smart thing to go with. Yeah. Um, now, this is a classic. I'm only doing this because I always find it funny every time I see it. Um, I asked a hotel I was staying at for a wake-up call. And they said, okay, you have long hair, you're girly, and uh, you're a silly man. <laughs> wake up call uh so let me ask you this and i don't know is it insensitive to give a jar of prego at a baby shower is that frowned upon a jar of prego yeah and uh, oh you want some free paper do this put a blank sheet of paper in your copy machine or go to kinko's and press 500 you get a full ream, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to try to beat the clock on this last one. Did you know that an ant, an ant can lift 10 times its body weight? I read that. And it's true, because one time I saw my Aunt Karen pick up a Toyota Corolla. <laughs> By the way, this weekend, if you're not busy, I, um, I bought some of those tandem parachute pants. So if you want to hang out together, wherever I go, you go. That'll be great fun. Oh, you're lucky.